Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, we're in Philippians chapter one still. We're looking at verses 15 through 18. Uh, and, uh, you know, Jesus wants his church to be unified. Uh, Paul talks about unity in the church. Uh, and I am frustrated. I just confess, I'm frustrated by the animosity that Christians often show towards other Christians because they disagree theologically or they disagree about the practice of ministry that they're doing. And I think we all need to learn from the Apostle Paul in Philippians 1. He says in verse 15, Some indeed preach Christ from envy and rivalry, but others from goodwill. The latter do it out of love, knowing that I am put here for the defense of the gospel. The former proclaim Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely, but thinking to afflict me in my imprisonment. What then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is proclaimed, and in that I rejoice. See, Paul was in prison, and there were people who were inspired by Paul's imprisonment, and they weren't, if Paul can serve God and he goes to prison, I am going to unashamedly proclaim the gospel. And, but there were others who were jealous of Paul. They saw him as competition, I know, Pastors today never consider other pastors or churches as their competition, right? Uh, but anyway, these guys considered Paul their competition, and they were happy that he was in jail, and they thought that by themselves proclaiming the gospel, that somehow that was going to add insult to injury to Paul, and he was going to be upset. <laughs> Paul didn't care about their motives. He even says, he goes, I don't care if they preach Christ out of good motives or wrong motives. As long as Christ is preached, I'm going to rejoice. Because people are being saved by the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, what does that mean for us? Uh, it means this. At Calvary, we don't expect doctrinal uniformity. Okay? We don't expect everybody to agree about everything in, in the Bible. We do expect and want to live out unity in love for Jesus and for each other. And we want to live out unity for the mission of Christ. Because we want to see lives changed with the gospel. We want to see men and women, boys and girls, come to that life-changing relationship with Jesus and, and experience that new birth that we have experienced. And that is what we're going to rejoice in. So I hope today you are rejoicing because Jesus has changed your life, and I hope you're rejoicing with us because Jesus continues to change lives through the ministry of Calvary. God bless.